AFC West, mm. Wilson, Herbert, Mahomes, Carr. Mm. That division is unlike any division I believe we've ever seen mm -mm. in the history of the league as far as quarterback talent in one division. I'm not even going to ask you to rank them and who would you take. Uh, well, I'll say this. At the end of the year, most people will agree that that's four of the top ten quarterbacks from this season. I'm putting Carr in there, too. Yeah, Carr is right at the, at least for Who's me. dealt with more bullshit in the last four years than Derek Carr? Nobody. Okay. We, we, we talk about A, B, and what happened at the end. We forget. They're in July. I think Carr is the most underrated quarterback in the league. I do, too. And, and the, has the, the most unwarranted pushback, even from his own fan base. Literally, when I'm when I'm walking and a Raider fan comes up and goes, "Hey, Jordan," and they want to talk, every I, I, like without a doubt, every single time, "Hey, honest opinion, Derek Carr is he a, is he a franchise quarterback?" And this is coming from a dude head to toe Raiders with probably a Raider tattoo on too. Like his own fan base questions him. And what I would say is like, go back to AB. Okay, it's not just the way AB left, right? With all the cameras rolling, right? It's that for the two years leading up to that, every year for the draft and I'm training guys for the draft, is this year John Gruden drafts his quarterback. So one, that's just happening. 24-7. Who are we going to replace? Are we going to take Kyler? Are we going to trade up and take Kyler Murray? Are we going to trade up and take this guy? So one, that's the foundation of it. Everyone's trying to get him out of there. Okay. Then you get A-B. And it's not just like losing A-B. It's that the whole offseason, you've designed it around having a Z who can do this, 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 and this. right? So you lose him in camp, and you lose him the way that they lost him, which is as chaotic as you can possibly have, right? Remember the phone call and he got it, he got released and he runs around the backyard and jumps Put in the pool. Put that shit on. Like, so, you, and you just lost your Z, okay? Then you lose Gruden and you don't, you didn't, it's not like they fired their coach week 10 and then the interim stepped up. It was complete chaos. You're talking about racial stuff. You're talking about the league. You're talking about one of the biggest faces of the NFL. This guy's been on Monday Night Football for a decade. So you, you didn't lose your coach. You lost Gruden. Right in the middle of the season, right? Then you got Basaccio or whatever, special teams guy takes over, he's doing everything he can. And then they go to the playoffs, right? Then you I add in rugs. Whatever player he was turning into or not turning into, right? They reached, took him. They had a bad draft too. They took Clellan Farrell, I don't even know his name, the fourth pick in the draft or whatever. So then you whiff on picks, right? You get rid of Cleo Matt. So you have all these pieces. It's like, man, all these good players are out. I lost my best receiver. I lost my coach. Then Rugs, and that's not you. I remember his interview. That's not a oh damn we lost Rugs. You know Derek, the way he like wears his faith on his sleeve, like yes. he was the guy who went and saw him. You know what I mean? Like so, you're dealing with the heartache of this young man just ruined his entire life and killed somebody, right? So just all that stuff. Plus he's in the community. Plus he's involved in his church. Plus I think he's got four kids. I'm just saying like, I'm sorry nobody's been through as much bullshit as Derek Carr in the last five years, and everybody in Oakland or everybody in Vegas is trying to get rid of him. And he's looking at the playoffs last year and had to beat this young superstar, Justin Herbert, that everybody in Vegas would take over Derek Carr. If you could take Justin Herbert or Derek Carr, 100% of the Raider fan base would take Justin Herbert. And he beats him in the last game to go to the playoffs. So I'm sitting here going, man, they just added Renfro. Waller's going to be healthy. And they added Devontae. Finally, this dude's going to go off. And if, the problem is the original question. He's got to play Russ twice. Yeah. He's got to play Mahomes so, twice, and exactly. he's got to play Herbert twice.